Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim here at Trippy Commentaries. I'm RJ. We are on our way to find the Greybeards on top of the mountain. Unfortunately, I've gotten a little bit sidetracked and have entered this abandoned prison. You really can't blame me as it looks pretty damn cool in here. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Solution of regeneration and some poison always comes in handy. And a potion of healing. Looks like we have a wardrobe over here as well. Let's see if we got anything good. Alright, so we have a scroll of mayhem. Creatures and people up to level 12 will attack anyone nearby for 60 seconds. I pretty much never use that kind of stuff. I mean, I'd rather just kill everybody myself. I don't need anybody else helping me. It's one of the same reasons why I don't use partners or, you know, of course, people to accompany you. I just feel like most of the time they get in the way. Hmm, there's a candle that's on right there. It's been lit, so... Apparently this abandoned prison has someone living in it, I guess. I guess we'll find out. What do we have back here? Some sort of a secret room? Someone has left a note. Maybe this will give us some answers. The guard's orders. Oof, that's pretty gruesome. It's a sad way to go. Definitely feel bad for the prisoners. Hopefully they will be in a good mood if they are dead and have turned into ghosts, as that is what I am suspecting. I seem to remember this place, and there are some difficult ghosts that live here, and uh, that might make it rough for us. There's a skeleton back there. Hmm, so far, so good. What do we have here? Potions of minor healing. Gonna start ignoring those pretty soon. Some iron boots, no thank you. And a bunch of worthless crap. Let's make our way down towards the jail cells. Do we have anybody here? Aha! Yes, just as I suspected, there are ghosts here at the abandoned prison. And uh, they're pretty tough. Let's go ahead and retreat, as I'm sure there's going to be multiple ghosts in here. We don't want them to gang up on us all at once. And there he goes. For some reason, you can pick up physical items from them. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but we'll certainly take advantage of it. Is that the only one? I find that hard to believe. The prisoner's plan. All right. Well, I'm assuming their plan did not go too well. As it appears, everybody in here is dead. Okay, here's another ghost. He resisted my frost damage. Okay, let me run the hell away once again. Stay back. Ah, oh, damn it, I used the, uh, the shout, but really was kind of useless. He was already dead by that point. Ooh, a golden necklace. Pretty soon we'll start to get more soul gems. We'll actually make a trip up to uh, Winterhold, which is the uh, big college. It's a college for magic. Actually, Winterhold's the city, but it has the college of Winterhold there at the city, and uh, that's a great place to go find soul gems. So we'll definitely go check out that area and uh, start to use more magical spells. Definitely something we're going to want to upgrade. What do we have here? Looks like a uh, trap door. Not sure if that's perhaps their uh, toilet, but we will have to go explore down there. I'm sure it smells very badly. Find some light here. From what I remember, the ghosts are pretty difficult, so we're going to want to auto-save here. If you press B, uh, which normally brings up your menu, uh, if you haven't saved in it in a while, it will automatically save for you. Not really sure the time limit it has. Feels like maybe like 10 minutes or so. But uh, it is a pretty good feature, especially if you know that you haven't saved in a while and you know just by pressing B it will save. It's much better than pressing pause and going into that menu. 
Have we killed everybody here? I believe we have. Perhaps there is somebody hiding down in that hole. 46 gold. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. This guy is strong as hell. What the hell? You are much stronger than your ghost friends. Oh, damn it. I am almost dead. Okay, so, um, hmm. I'm thinking for this guy, we're probably going to want to run up to the opening section and, uh, I guess kind of keep play keep away with him. Come on up here, buddy. We do have some shout remaining, so let's use that and run the hell away. Damn it, this guy is very strong. And I am out of stamina. One time, uh, in one of my playthroughs, I had a pair of boots that for some reason had a glitch that made it to where I never ran out of stamina. And I always thought it was awesome. I wish I could duplicate it. Because it was kind of fun playing the game, not having to worry about stamina. It seems to kind of get in the way a lot of times as uh, we have leveled up just in the nick of time. Hmm. Uh, we're definitely going to need more magic, huh? And uh, let me take a quick look, guys, and I'll figure out the best thing for us to upgrade. Okay, we're going to go ahead and choose Critical Shot. Uh, would definitely come in handy right about now as this guy is trying to slaughter us. Maybe we get a, a Critical Shot and make him lose life a little bit faster. Right now, we're not going to get too many critical shots, but uh, pretty soon we can get that same perk a couple more times to make it even more effective, and uh, that's going to make our bow and arrow even better, which right now, it seems to be our best weapon, that's for sure, especially against a guy like this and guys like dragons, where you cannot get close to them at all. They can sometimes one-shot kill you without, a, uh, you know, without even a notice. More shots to the face should do it. And bow down to your master, Ghost, as I have killed you for the second time in your lifetime. Right. Now I have. There he goes. Let's check out his ghostly remains. Hopefully that is the last one we have to worry about. Uh, we're not too far away from the next town where we can sell all of our stuff and uh, get restocked for the trek up the mountain. Definitely cannot wait to do that. I'll probably bring in a uh, fellow commentator to help me out with that episode, as that's one of the most memorable things you do in the game, is uh, take the initial trek up uh, the largest mountain in the game, so that way you can meet the Greybeards. Definitely should be pretty cool. Also going to be hard, because I know there's a uh, troll that hangs out up there. And many bears that can come out of nowhere and destroy you. We still have that hole that we're going to have to fall down. Let's not forget about that. See if we have anything else that we left behind. Uh, we picked up a jail cell key back there. So it's allowing us to get into all of these cells without having to lockpick them. What do we have here? Some more gold. Minor Magicka. Let me grab it, even though it is almost useless. And I guess we will check the wardrobe. Absolutely nothing. What a surprise. Here's a chest. I guess we'll pick up the Imperial Helmet. And uh, Leather Helmet's actually worth quite a bit. I mean, it's not worth a lot, but for only two weight. Not too bad. We'll grab it. All right, we're going to have to use our candlelight spell, so that way we can see. Looks like there's a bunch of crap back here. Wait a minute. A song of Hormir. Very nice. Increasing our two-handed skill. Definitely have to start using our poisons more, as uh, they're pretty good to put on the arrows. I probably could have used them against that uh, the strong ghost. Here's some useless books. Uh, pretty soon, another thing we will start doing is we will start to build our house, our homestead, um, using one of the DLCs here for the game, Heathfire, I think it's called, or Hearthfire, something like that. 
And uh, in that house, we'll have plenty of bookshelves, and uh, we'll definitely put all of our books there. We'll have a collection. The books are really well done in this game. Um, I never really took any time to actually read any of them, but uh, they're very uh, detailed, and they seem professionally done. I already checked this box. Let's try to find that hole. Where the hell is it? Must be all the way over here. All right, here goes nothing. Hopefully we've had our shots. Down the trap door. Someone died down here. It's not a good sign. This is pretty cool, actually. I do not remember finding this. I think the last time I checked out this prison, I must have overlooked it. As there's a lot of things in this game that you can overlook. Another thing I will uh, mention, guys, is I did pick up the Dragonborn DLC. So uh, we'll definitely get into that. I have yet to play that, so that'll be kind of a blind playthrough once we get to that portion. Not really too sure when we'll start that up. Um, I guess we'll try to finish off the rest of the uh, main storyline. There's still a lot for us to do as we have not even scratched the surface of this game. So uh, once we get to a certain part, we'll definitely move over to the Dragonborn DLC. I'm really excited for that. There's a lot for me to see there. But we'll have to be pretty strong before we can even decide to do that. There's also another DLC as well. Um, I guess we'll take that out as well. This is going to be an extremely long playthrough. So there's definitely going to be a lot to get to. So it looks like this was just perhaps a secret entrance to the abandoned prison. So really wasn't even much of a secret uh, entrance way or a secret uh, passage anyways. There's nothing to find down there. Not too sure how it would come in handy, but uh, there you have it. I guess we're done with the abandoned prison for now. I'll uh, maybe check back there off screen just in case we left anything there. As uh, we can now make our way back towards the city and towards the largest mountain in the game. Let's go ahead and Fry up this goat. We're probably getting hungry. Let's eat some fried goat. Where are we on the map? How do I even look at the map? It's been a while since I've uh, played this game. It's been a while between episodes for sure. Okay. Um, hmm. We must head directly south. We are heading to Iverstead. It does say to speak to the Greybeards, but that is not where we have to do it. That's pretty much just a stop on the way. Not too much light pollution here in the world of Skyrim, so you can see a ton of stars. A lot of beautiful scenery. Fort Amal. No thank you. I seem to remember there being many wizards and sorcerers in there. So uh, we'll save them for another time. I promise you guys we will go and kick all of their asses when the time is right. Hopefully we are going the right way. Let me check the map once again. This part can be a little bit confusing as you, know, you can see the mountain, but getting around it Maybe it's just me, but sometimes I do tend to get lost. And then I find another cave or something that I want to go explore. Speak of the devil, we have the Lost Knife Hideout. Where's the entrance? I can't even see it. Here it is. Oh, man, we cannot afford to uh, do that, as I've mentioned so far in the playthrough. We really want to upgrade our shouting ability. That's going to be a huge tool to defeat many of the uh, tougher opponents that will come across. So uh, we got to make a beeline for Iverstead. We cannot fuck around anymore. We almost got killed back at the abandoned prison. There's a massive waterfall. That's awesome. I remember the first uh, couple days of getting into this game. You know, of course, I picked it up with the midnight release. I'd never played any of the other uh, Elder Scrolls games. Uh, I always wanted to play Oblivion, just never got a chance. 
uh, even Morrowind, back for the original Xbox. That game I wanted to dive into as well, but just never did. So when they announced a brand new Elder Scrolls game, I knew that I was going to start right from the get-go, you know, jump right into it from day one. And uh, I certainly was happy I did, that's for sure. This is one of the best games of all time. It's extremely glitchy, so it's hard to put it at the top spot as, uh, hmm, these people have plenty of money on them, I'm sure. Let's do a quick save, and uh, maybe I'll try to take them out. If it does give us a, um, a bounty, then we'll restart it, as we don't want that to happen. Definitely don't want to be thrown in, in uh, prison. But the good thing about video games is you are allowed to save it right before you do something. It's almost a trial and error kind of situation. It looks like we're good as uh, we don't have a bounty on us. We can kill this chick. Uh, what's her name? Salonia Karavoin. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it doesn't matter because they will all be dead in short time. Right in the ass. And this guy... He's probably just going to try to run away at this point. He knows he has no chance. Sir Platis Caravan, I am the Dragonborn. Unfortunately for you, I've decided to become evil today. So you must die. And I gotta say, he's running quite fast. Uh, let's go ahead and use some of our potions of stamina. If we have any. Minor stamina, that should be enough. Do not run into the fortress, sir. They will kill you faster than I will. Perfect. He had some pretty uh, good stuff on him, that's for sure. So that'll be great to sell at Iverstead. We're almost there, guys. Uh, let's make sure to go grab some stuff from the others that we killed. And uh, we'll call it an episode. In the next episode, we will finally make it to Iverstead and uh, start our trek up the mountain. I promise I will not get sidetracked. Uh, I will also uh, be bringing in a fellow uh, Trippy Commentaries uh, commentator to help me out. That's for sure, as it's going to be epic. Plenty of uh, treasure to be had here. Good thing we killed these guys. I'm sure nobody will miss them. I thought there was one more guard somewhere around here. Where are you? Some wolves. Ah, oh, there he is, the bodyguard. Was blended in with the wolves. Ooh, studded imperial armor, just in time. And uh, looks like we're good. Let's take one more look at the map to see how far away we are. Uh, we still have a little bit of a hike, but uh, we'll definitely make it there in the next episode. As long as we do not get lost. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you joining me for the playthrough. And make sure, as always to stay trippy. Peace out.